So there was a time a few years back that we tried something out in the handyman business and it didn't quite work very well. It kind of backfired on us. In fact, we actually lost a little bit of money. <laughs> So about a few years ago, we decided that we would start trying to sell by the hour. Um, and we basically went to a strict hourly rate. I think at that point, our hourly rate was 90 bucks an hour. And we went around and we told people that our hourly rate is 90 bucks an hour. So we can come out there for however many hours you want uh, for 90 bucks an hour. And we kind of had this idea that because we were kind of going back and forth trying to figure out our pricing, trying to figure out how to actually sell stuff. Uh, and we were getting a lot of pushback by the buy the job, you know, price. So I'm like, okay, well, what if we just did buy the hour? Because then we're at least guaranteed, my thought was we're at least guaranteed eight hours of billable hours, right, in, in a day. I came to learn that that's not how it works. Hey friends, welcome back. This is day 12 of my 100 day video challenge. Super excited to have you here. Uh, if you guys are brand new, um, I am doing a 100 day video challenge right now. You can watch the rest of the, the last videos. I'll link those up here. Uh, today is September 19th, 2023. And the whole thought of this is I'm going back to kind of when I first started out in business, talking about some of the things that I messed up on, some of, some of the things I did wrong, some of the things I did right talking about how I lost money, talking about how I made money in hopes to try and you know shed some light on this whole handyman business type thing so I could help you all out. So uh, welcome back, super excited. Today we are talking all about pricing. Yesterday we had a really good in-depth conversation about the pricing mindset. Um, today I wanna to talk about that specifically, charging by the hour or charging by the job and our specific, my specific uh, experience with that. So like I said, we decided to charge by the hour a few years back and it didn't quite work out very well, right? Um, I thought that uh, you know by charging by the hour, I would at least be able to bill eight hours of our hourly rate per day. That's not how it works. In all actuality, most people are not 100% efficient. So that means on, in an eight, eight hour day, you're not gonna get eight hours of work, work done. Uh, most people are about 80% efficient maybe even 70%. So that means on any eight, eight hour day, you're only gonna get about six hours work of, worth of actual billable work done. Typically, right, if you have it set up that way. We've now set up kind of systems and processes where we can actually be more efficient than that, uh, which is actually really exciting and we could talk more about that later. Um, if you have any questions about that, you know, drop it in the comments. But back in the day, we we're not that um, you know, we're about maybe 70, 80% efficient, right? And so when we charge by the hour, you're really only making about six hours worth, worth of work done. But anyways, I wanted to dig into this kind of whole thought with a story. So we were doing this, uh, doing this kind of experiment where we're charging by the hour with 90 bucks an hour. And uh, we go into a house and we're like, okay, we have a two hour minimum, 90 bucks an hour. So it's gonna be 180 bucks and we'll come out for two hours and do what you need done. Uh, this lady called us, I think she needed a, a ceiling fan replaced and a kitchen faucet replaced. So uh, typically those, you know, about an hour a piece, right? So we go in, uh, we bang out the ceiling fan, we bang out the kitchen faucet. We're like, all right, we're all done. You know, she's like, okay, um, uh, what's what's the total? Uh, we're like, oh, two hours, 180 bucks. She says, well, you've only been here for an hour and 45 minutes. You know, um, I got some light bulbs that need to be changed. And, you know, there's also some dust on this chandelier that's way too high for me to reach. So uh, do you have a really tall ladder? And <laughs> we had a tall ladder. And so she, she had us dusting, you know, the top of the chandelier and replacing these light bulbs. And she squeezed every last second. And what happened there, which was very interesting, she had us working up until that two hour mark, right? But then you have to you know, do the talking and work up the invoice and collect the payment. And you don't get out of there till about the you know, two and a half hour mark because you have all that kind of cleanup, right? You have cleanup, you have um, you know, collecting the invoice and all this and that. So she had us working up until that two hour point and then we started our cleanup. Then we started our invoicing process. So it's actually very interesting because uh, ha charging by the hour leaves no time for admin work or even cleanup work, right? Because the client's expectation is that you're gonna be working every single second of those hours, right? Uh, whereas, and they don't account that cleanup is actually part of the work, right? So if you're thinking about how long something takes, right? Don't only just think of, you know, oh, the hours that I'm gonna actually be like hitting it with a hammer and then once I hit the last nail in, I'm done. You gotta think about setting up hitting the hammer, finishing that ham finishing that nail, and then cleaning up, and then collecting the invoice, and then you're done, right? There's a lot more to the job than actual, just the actual physical labor part of the work. So 
in my experience, charging by the hour, uh, clients see that as like, okay, you're going to be here until that second and you end up losing out because you have all that back end admin work that you need to do um, and no one's paying for that, right? So instead of charging by the job, you can dictate that. So you can say for a ceiling fan or a light fixture, you can charge an hour's worth of labor, but if you get it done in 45 minutes, then that's fantastic, right? Then you have an extra 15 minutes to clean up, do the invoicing and all this and that, and it covers the admin work. And the client doesn't necessarily have any problem with that because you've given them a flat rate for what this ceiling fan needs to be you know, quoted for uh, to do the work. So in my experience, I would charge by the job, not by the hour. Another reason uh, for doing that is because if you charge by the hour, say when you first start out, and you charge um, you know, a ceiling fan, you know, say an hour, say it's 100 bucks, right? Let's just take a number. Um, and when you first start out, it takes you that whole hour to do that ceiling fan. But as you progress, and maybe two, three, four years in, you can now do two ceiling fans in an hour. But you actually you know, get paid that same $100 to do those two ceiling fans that you used to get paid for only one ceiling fan. So you're actually making less money by charging by the hour, whereas now, so if you charge by the job, right? So say at the very beginning, you charge that 100 bucks for that ceiling fan, and then two, three, four years down the road, you still charge 100 bucks per ceiling fan, you're now making $200 in an hour rather than $100 in an hour that you did when you first started out. So charging by the job actually pays you for your experience and your knowledge, which is actually what you want to, that's where you want to be in this business, is being paid for your experience and your knowledge, not your time. So when, because when we go out there, um, you know, people don't pay us, we don't want people to pay us for the time that we're there. We want them to pay us for what's in our head, what we know, what we bring to the table. Um, that's what we tell people all the time. Like when we come to the job, we're gonna, we have the experience to bring the part, bring the correct part, know where to find that part, know where to find the part on time, have the gas in our trucks to go get that part. Uh, you know, we have all of these different systems and processes created so that we can go and do the, do the job that's required of us in a timely and efficient manner. And that's really what we want to be paid for. So I help people with this every single day. We have a coaching group called the Handyman Academy. And this is something that we've been running for quite a few years. Absolutely fantastic. It's only $99 a month and it comes with uh, access to all of our courses that help you build systems and processes for your business. And it also comes with bi-monthly group coaching calls. So you get to surround yourself with other handyman all around the world uh, every other Tuesday and absolutely change the name of the handyman business for you. So um, I wanna partner with you in that. If you want some more information, you can uh, go to my website, you can uh, fill out a form and you can set up a free consultation call with me. I would love to kind of dissect your business, see how we can help you improve in your systems and your processes. Go to handymanjourney.com. I would absolutely love to help you out. And I hope that this video was helpful for you. I love doing these 100 day video challenge. Um, also, I wanted to say for my buddy Muhammad, because uh, you know I said I would mention it just for you. This is also day 12 of promoting our general, our estimator to general manager. So we've been working with him. He's been taking over a lot of kind of day-to-day -day operations that has moved me to the CEO position, focusing on marketing, finances, and company culture. Uh, so that's been really cool. That's been an interesting transition. We've been working with him a lot, kind of passing over the buck to him in a lot of things, and he's doing a fantastic job. Really, really exciting. So that's one system, one process that we are currently in, in the middle of creating, and that's actually really exciting. Yesterday we did payroll. Um, we're also digging into a new, new CRM that we're gonna be um, kind of launching here October 1st uh, for our business, and then also doing a lot of QuickBooks and stuff like that. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I would love to hear your thoughts on this series that we're doing and also pricing in general. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Like this video and subscribe to this channel. I really appreciate you coming along this journey with me. And we'll see you guys tomorrow for day 13 of this 100 day video challenge. Have a good one guys.